Gargle Snacks House here with another episode of Gargle News. Today we'll be talking about the new Fortnite update, Apex Legends The Hackening, MLB The Show, PlayStation's future plans, and the Overwatch 2 drama. Fortnite released its new se season about two weeks ago and so far the reviews have been mixed. There has been a few cool things added, but the biggest talks are about what was removed. Now, in this newest update, the lightning bolt has been nerfed and some new items have been added. The drum gun is back, as well as Midas himself bringing back what has been considered the best LTM of all time, the Flores Lava. Players will now be able to jump into a squads match of the Flores Lava and play a game that we've enjoyed in the past and will definitely enjoy this time. Don't worry if you don't have a full squad though, because it's definitely winnable with two or three people as well. We're very glad that was added and look forward to seeing a video of us on that soon. Also in news for this week, an unfortunate term of events, but quite common in this case, Apex Legends was hacked, except this time it was on a pro level, which has yet to really happen. Apex Legends' ALGS North American Finals game for $3 million was hacked, and pros were given hacks against their own will. Some were even streaming, and we were able to catch clips like this on stream from this one from uh, Jen Burton. I'm getting hacked! I'm getting hacked! But I know, I know, it's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I I'm getting hacked! I know, but is what? it fucking up your game? Yes, I can see everyone! Like, I'm... You need to leave, you need to leave, you need to leave. I, I didn't leave the game, right? Wait, yeah, I'm game. leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. He was given wall hacks, as you could see, and he was able to see everyone in the game. Nobly, though, he ended up leaving the game. Apex then had to shut down the tournament, as it was unfair to the players. Another clip that we have is from a bigger streamer that was playing for TSM at the time, Imperial Hall, who was given aimbot and also had to leave the game. Okay, wait, no, I'm back. Uh, I'm cheating. No, I'm... I, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. I literally cannot shoot. I can't shoot. I cannot shoot. I'm dead from over here, Jordan. Get inside, get inside. I don't have a smoke. One player was even banned for the aimbot that was put on them. You would think that a game as big as Apex would have its own private servers for a tournament with a prize pool as large as $3 million, but I guess not. Hopefully there are some changes made soon. MLB The Show 24 released, bringing a whole new addition to the franchise, but to be honest, it's pretty much a copy and pasted version of 23, which was also a copy and pasted version of 22. With this game, you're paying for a new color scheme, a new season of online cards, and updated player overalls. The one new feature added though was the ability to play as a woman in Road to the Show, which kind of was an under the radar addition, because I didn't really see a lot for, for it in the launch. In my personal opinion, I would say though that the game is not really worth the money unless of course you have it through Game Pass, which is what I have. The game itself is nothing special, it's the same as last year, the same as the year before, and I'm not getting my hopes up for next year that it's going to be any different. PlayStation has been working on some new technology called Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR. PSSR will be first integrated into the PS5 Pro, and they're aiming for 4K 120fps and 8K 60fps for console gaming. Personally, I think that's a little unnecessary and overkill, but it's good to see console gaming head in the, heading in the way of being out of the 60fps range and getting higher resolutions with 60, higher than 60fps as well. While it's unsure when the PS5 Pro comes out, I can't wait to see if this actually is possible and what people think of it. Overwatch 2 is facing some backlash after they chose to make all their heroes free. Now this wouldn't be much of a problem except for the fact that they chose not to refund the people who previously bought them. The argument to be made however is that the heroes were not bought directly but they were rather acquired through a battle pass that allowed people to unlock them quicker, not unlock them straight. All players were able to get every hero, but it just would take much longer than if you paid for it. That's it for Gargle News. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.